TJ Henderson, uh, LaVisca Chanel, James O'Shaughnessy? Yeah, LaVisca um, has a shoulder. Uh, he'll be practicing this week. Where he should play this week. Uh, AJ can had a real minor hamstring. He should be good to go this week. CJ Henderson is a mild groin issue. Uh, we're not sure yet on that one. James O'Shaughnessy is going to be out for a few weeks. He has a high ankle. And Trey Herndon is um, should be practicing on Wednesday. So that's the updates I got for you. Did you make any plans about bringing in a kicker at all to try out? We looked at it, and then, uh, you know, I, I, I talked to Josh today. In, in 17, 18, 19, you go back, and I know that was recent history, but he's one of the best in the NFL. And the thing I told him is that since I got here in February, since our staff got here, he's a hardworking guy as any, other, any guy on the team. So uh, I, I have confidence he's going to work through this. You know, I, you know, I know the GM and personnel department's job is to see what's out there and all that. I just, uh, I'm convinced this guy can come through it. I just, I see the way he works. I see the way he hits it. And uh, I've stuck with kickers before, and it's been great dividends. So as of now, we're going to stick with him. He's like a basketball shooter when he goes in a slump or a golfer. You always see, see one go in, and it might make, make a difference. That's my history. And that's, uh, once again, if it's a, a guy that doesn't work hard, it doesn't take his, uh, trade serious. I mean, I'm telling you, that's as serious as a kicker as I've ever been around and working and takes care of his body. And I know he had injury last year, but you look at 17, 18, 19, the guy was phenomenal. And I still believe he will be. Urban is, Trevor was sailing balls high a decent amount yesterday. Is that I'm sorry. A, uh, Trevor was sailing balls high a decent amount yesterday. Is that a mechanical thing or is that just the pressure getting to him? He was releasing no, I, I know. Well, one, we just got done watching it. And one was the ball came out of his hand. It was during that range, you know, right before the half. Uh, that's a result usually of overstriding. And you get anxious when some guy pops open, you, you throw it high. And then, uh, so um, there's not one reason. That's something we're addressing. And, you know, Schottenheimer's going to work with him on, on that. On that, But uh, uh, we saw the same thing. It's all fixable. The wet ball was an issue. Had he, you guys really had practice in the rain, right? We did a little bit, yeah. Would you like to see more of an emphasis from Trevor on taking the safer plays or the check downs at times? Yeah, I think that's uh, something that's a consensus that at one, you know, he threw one in there to LaVisca, actually threw a heck of a ball, but should have checked it down. And and then sometimes he checks it down when the guys are covered. So it's just working through. It's young quarterback stuff, and he's uh, he'll improve. How do you balance that with him still, you know, him being naturally aggressive? Because that, that's obviously one of his strong points. Yeah. Uh, how do you balance it? Mm -hmm. uh, just coach him through it. Just, you know, the one thing about Trevor Lawrence is now he's a smooth guy. He's a, you know, nothing really phases him that bad so far. And we got to make sure it doesn't because that's a learning process for a young quarterback. You see it all over the NFL. Uh, every year you see that. So he's just got to work through it. You said on Thursday that you are a 50-50 person when it comes to offensive balance. We're at 84 and 32, which is 72% pass, 28% run. Granted, some of it is being behind in the second half, but uh, are those numbers really uh, more out of whack than you'd like them to be? They are, but I think once, you, once again, when you get down a couple scores, you're, you're trying to get back in the game. You know, and the one thing, the po a great positive is I. I saw the energy on the sideline. You know, the one, the challenge I have for our team is to have as good a locker room as there is in the NFL. That means guys that care about each other, guys fight for each other, guys pull for each other. And you know, when you go through, you know, a lot of guys were here last year, start losing those games, and this year start losing games. And uh, I just want them to stick together because we're going to break this rock. We will break this rock. And when we do, I want them to enjoy it. Uh, you know, the loyalty, the sticking together, the locker room, the energy on the sideline. It was great, you know, when Agnew returned that kick, Chappelle's racing down the field with him 100 yards. And the energy and, you know, deep in my heart, I thought we were going to come back and win that game. And uh, we didn't do it. But so I'm, I'm trying to find the positives, and they're easy to find. Um, the negatives are we lost two games. Coach, what, um, what do you like some of your draft pick, like walk a little and Tobole? I mean, what, what, what are those guys got to do to, to get? Say Ellen, that again. Um, walk a little. Tupole. What do they have to do? Oh, Tufele. Tufele. Yeah, <laughs> that's a Tupele. <laughs> what do they have to do to just get into uh, 
where you feel confident that they Immediate. Both those guys are close. Both those guys just keep getting better in practice, and uh, both the two guys you mentioned are trending positively. Those guys are every week in the consideration in consideration to move up. We moved up Adam Gotsis this week, and he was one of the best. You know, he's one of the players of the week, or graded a, a very good effort. So, uh, but those two are good names that are coming up the ranks. Is DJ Chark? Has he continued the progression you saw from him in the spring before the injury? Only got four catches on 16 targets. So. Yeah, not enough. Uh, I mean, he's working his tail off and had a couple of nice plays yesterday and a couple of nice plays against Houston. But we still, we need to get him more involved because he is working his tail off. Is that just happenstance that they just haven't been able to hook up, or is it more of a of a problem that they're not on the same page, he and Trevor? Or I mean, no, I wouldn't say that. I would say you know, uh, when he does win. You know, we're either like we won yesterday. He won a done a great out and up, was wide open, was ten yards beyond the defense, and we had a pressure and the quarterback scrambled and it was a pass interference against him. So that was going to be a that was a home run. That was a touchdown. That would have put us up fourteen three. And uh, so he, you know, when he does come clean, something happens. So there's no issue there. Just got to get better. Run defense appears to be improved. Are you seeing that as well? Run de defensively overall, uh, you know, the mechanics were much cleaner. You know, someone made a comment yesterday in a press conference about that, about, your, you know, minimal issues. We just, uh, you know, the score seven to whatever it was in the first drive when the, uh, they launched a 55 yarder down the field on us, and that hurt us. But uh, defense, you know, had a couple of big stops, held the field goals in the red zone uh, after. Uh, Turnover sudden change, so there's there's some pot, bright spots there in defense. Has Dewan seen um, earned more playing time for you guys? Yeah, I think he's playing a lot, isn't he? Right, but you know he he started for the first time this season uh, last week or this week, so I'm just saying. You know, yeah, he's considered a starter. A lot of it depends what grouping we're in, so he's considered a starter. Okay. What do you hope to see from your tight ends with James O'Shaughnessy out? What what that means for that group? Yeah, that's a problem. We got uh, Hollister is a guy that uh, we signed to the uh, team, and he's not been activated. So our plan right now is to activate him and keep an APB out for what's out there. Urban, how much would you have been able to be using ETN in some of the roles that you envisioned? I mean, how much did that not having him impact a lot of the things you wanted to do? Well, one issue, and it remains to be an issue, is the big play hit. You know, we just, uh, Marvin's kind of our guy right now, and, you know, DJ had one, LaVisca, we have to get him more involved in some big play opportunity. And, you know, we had Devin Smith, he was uh, sick last week, so he was inactivated against, you know, Cowboys, he made a nice play. And then, to answer your question, Travis Etienne was brought in for that reason, because he's, when the ball's in his hands, usually good things happen. And obviously, that's, uh, we'll have to wait till next year. Any temptation to use like Agnew as a little bit of that role, or, or yeah. Austin when he comes back? Yeah, especially after what you saw him do Saturday. And he's been rotating through there at receiver, but we just haven't had a, you know, the, you have one series and you get the ball back again. It's the second quarter. You know, it goes fast, so you got to make every play count. After Ruby, how, how did you feel Cam and Jawan played against uh, Chubb and Bond? Our offensive line, it was. Uh, uh, very much a positive. They, they kept a nice, solid pocket for him for the most part. Uh, obviously, against two uh, elite pass rushers, Jawan Taylor really hung in there. I know he chipped a little bit and helped him, but he, for the most part, he hung in there. They had one sack, and that was on a twist. But straight pass rush, we hung in there really well. I was really proud of the offensive line. They put us in position to win the game. If we didn't have a couple other areas where, you know, we we left uh, in the first half, we left. Two other touchdowns right there on the field. And you know, it's a whole different ball game if you do that. Don't do that.